Hi everyone! So you've got a party coming up, or maybe you're hosting some friends for a game. But you want to put out more than just a veggie platter and some potato chips. That's why today we're raising the bar on bar snacks. I'm Chef Emily and you're watching Aprons Cooking School Online. For the snacks, we have two we're going to make today. We have candied chili garlic peanuts and a chorizo pigs in a blanket with sofrito truffle mayo. Sounds delicious, but first we need to start off with our peanut recipe. So over here we have a pot with the candy probe thermometer. Uh, we are going to add in three quarters of a cup of water and two cups of granulated sugar. And we want to bring this sugar up to 240 degrees and that's going to take a little bit of time. Also, give your sugar a little bit of a shake, so that way that water uh, evenly distributes it in the pan. So leave it alone, let it go, and once that sugar comes up to a boil, you're gonna slowly start to see the bubbles change. All right guys, so if we take a look here, we are at 240 degrees. Perfect. We do need to remove the thermometer though, and it's pretty hot. So I'm gonna carefully pull that off with a towel, set that aside. And we have our other ingredients which we need to add in now. We have uh, chili pepper flake, a little bit of garlic paste, love garlic, so good, some salt, and don't forget those peanuts. These are salted peanuts, but we added a little extra salt. Okay, and now we're going to give these a really good stir. Definitely want to constantly mix this and scrape the bottom because um, that way we can get the sugar agitated a little bit and it's going to start to crystallize. And I'm going to turn the heat on just for a moment and give that still another stir. Make sure you have your parchment lined tray ready to go. We're going to add these onto our pan. And whatever you do, I know you want to eat these now, but you got to wait till they cool down. I'm gonna let these peanuts cool down for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some dishes and grab the ingredients for our next bar snack. All right, so we're ready for our next uh, bar snack, our pigs in a blanket. Uh, I do need to cut up our chorizo. If you haven't had chorizo before, it's a Spanish dry cured sausage. Um, and we do wanna cut it a little bit smaller so we can fit that theme of the bar snack, bite-sized pieces. Um, so I just cut this link in half, and I'm gonna cut it in half one more time, lengthwise. And then we're gonna cut these into thirds, just like that, okay? So for our dough, we're using a buttermilk biscuit. And we're gonna divide them up a little bit smaller. If you guys are familiar with these, we all use these at home. I'm always afraid of the popping part of this, but just gotta give it a quick tap. And there you go. Wanna separate each piece um, because I'm going to cut one of them in half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip this in half, and that way we can take two of these together and put one half on each. So you have two little dough balls there. We have some bench flour, um, so we're gonna take a little bit, sprinkle it down, and I'm also going to sprinkle a little flour on top of each one of these and on my rolling pin, because it will start to stick a little bit as you roll out, okay? What we're looking for is a six by six inch rectangle. So if you need a little help with that, you can pre-measure out your flour uh, drawing like so. And this flour is gonna keep it again from sticking. You don't want too much. And there is something in dough called gluten. And you can see it is a little bit tough to roll out, but if you give this a little bit of time to rest, it'll start to hold its shape. And we're gonna cut these into six strips each. You want a total of 12. Who's good at math? I have to cut it in half. And then I'll cut each of those into thirds. Okay? They don't have to be perfect. They're all gonna taste delicious when they're done. All right, now that we have cut our strips, I'm just gonna scoot these up just a little bit so I can clear my area. And we're gonna bring in our other ingredients in just a moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all this area wiped down. So I'll be right back. All right, we got our chorizo and our cilantro, leaves picked and ready to go. We're gonna start from left to right. 
uh, and add our chorizo down first, then our cilantro. We're going to put them onto this parchment line tray to be baked off. So I like to do one step all at the same time. That way you're not going back and forth with the cilantro and chorizo. And then taking your cilantro, I'm doing two leaves uh, per. If you don't have cilantro, you could also use some basil. Now that we got those, I'm going to start on this end and I'm just going to roll up just like that. And you always want to put the seam side down on your tray so that way it doesn't unroll. And it just looks better. Presentation side is what we call it. Do three by four. Spread them out nice and even so they bake evenly. We're going to go right into our oven. I have a 400 degree oven preheated. I'm going to open that up. Stick it right in. Now we need to make our uh, sofrito truffle mayonnaise for our pigs in a blanket. So I have one cup of mayonnaise. To that we're going to add our sofrito. Sofrito literally translates to stir fry. It's used in a lot of different dishes, everything from stews, uh, soups. It's made up of tomatoes, bell peppers, red onions, oregano. I'm going to add two teaspoons of truffle oil to this. If you haven't had truffle oil before, Try throwing it on your pizza. It's really great. I'm going to add salt and pepper. So give this a good mix. I'd say this would be even great with some wings, tater tots. There you go, tater tots. That sounds delicious. So now let's check on our pigs in a blanket in the oven. Beautiful golden brown on the top. I'm really excited to go ahead and give one of these a taste. I'm going to go ahead and dunk into our mayonnaise. That is delicious. I love the cilantro and the chorizo together. It's funny because you wouldn't think that's a biscuit. Kind of reminds me of a pizza dough, but it's super soft and flaky. It's small enough where it would be great to have a few of these and share amongst your friends. Overall, fantastic. Now I really want to try these peanuts. You can definitely see a chili pepper flake in there. Mmm. So crunchy, sweetness, saltiness, all of our favorite things in a and a snack. So don't be afraid to raise the bar for your next party. Use the link to download these delicious snack recipes and be sure to check out our other Aprons Cooking School videos and subscribe for more great content from Publix. Thank you for watching.